Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 109 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of an LAD CTO with a bifurcation of the proximal cap. The patient was a 74-year-old man with previous standing of the LAD diagonal 11 years prior. He presented with a pro progressive angina and anterior ischemia and a preserved ejection fraction. Diagnostic angiography demonstrated occlusion of the mid-LAD right after the takeoff of a very large diagonal branch that had a stent. There was retrograde filling of the LAD via collaterals, septal collaterals from the distal right coronary artery. Therefore, the CTO had a well-defined proximal cap. Length was short about 20 millimeters. There was a good quality distal vessel and there were septal collaterals from the right coronary artery. Based on those findings, our plan initially was to try first with undergrade wire escalation, followed by retrograde via septal collaterals and leaving ADR as a last step because of concerns of potentially compromising the patency of the large diagonal branch. We tried undergrade wire escalation over the Corsair Pro Microcatheter, tried different wires including the Pilot 200, the Horner 14, the Fighter and the Gaia 2nd. However, we were unable to cross into the distal true lumen. Because of the excellent septal collaterals, we decided to switch to retrograde. We advanced a Caravel Microcatheter into a distal septal collateral and then did a microinjection demonstrating connection to the LAD. We then advanced a Sion guide wire that um, initially went into the distal LAD, very easily crossed from the septal, went to the distal LAD, it was pulled back and redirected, and eventually advanced essentially all the way to the distal cap. Before doing any further attempts, we wanted to make sure that the diagonal was protected. We therefore inserted a workhorse guide wire into the previously standard diagonal branch. And then, given the short occlusion length, we decided to try with retrograde crossing from two to true. With um, a pilot 200, we were able to advance it into the proximal true lumen, and this was confirmed by intravascular ultrasound that um, demonstrated that the wire was into the true lumen. There is always concern we're advancing retrograde wires into the LAD and the left main. Of course, here we knew we were in the true lumen. Nevertheless, we inserted a, micro a guide liner that was used as the target for the retrograde guide wire to enter into the undergrade guide catheter. And then we externalized an R315 guide wire. The CTO was uh, predilated and uh, that restored undergrade flow into the LAD. Because we knew we had a complex bifurcation that would require two stent implantation, we decided uh, to remove the retrograde guide wire after advancing an undergrade wire, and that's exactly what we did, advancing a workhorse guide wire into the distal LAD. We then removed the retrograde equipment, and then discussed about how to stand this. The idea was to use two stents to make sure that the diagonal maintained patency and that the LAD had a nice result. And the best technique for that, for both left main and non-left main bifurcations, is uh, using the DK crust technique. To do this, we predilated both branches to make sure that the balloons expanded well, which was the case. And then we first um, inserted the stand into the diagonal with a balloon into the LAD. The stand was deployed and then it was crushed with inflation of the LAD balloon. We used the jail guide wire as a marker to advance uh, another guide wire from the LAD into the diagonal branch. And um, after doing that, we did the first kissing balloon inflation by uh, inflating balloons in the LED and the diagonal. We then inserted a stent in the mid LED. The stent was deployed and uh, the side branch was rewired. We quite often will use a twin pass microcatheter to rewire, but in this particular case we were able to wire without using the two 
micro, two vessel microcatheter. The side branch was rewired once again, and then we did the second uh, kissing inflation. Intravascular ultrasound showed good stent expansion and stent strata position, and a nice final result was achieved. We can see that the LED caliber has already increased after restoring under grade flow. Several lessons from this case. The first one is the importance of flexibility. Undergrade wire escalation did not work, but we did have a nice retrograde option, which was used to successfully cross the occlusion. When there is retrograde crossing into an LAD CTO, it is important to prevent an injury of the left main, and that is why using a guide liner and intravascular ultrasound guidance help to avoid that. And last, uh, maintaining patency of key branches uh, can be done with an upfront to stand technique, and the DK crash technique uh, may provide the best outcomes in this setting. Thank you.